tell us about you. What 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 um what sure. do you do? And yeah, what do you do? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. No, listen. Act. In the back. Loud. Come on. No, no listen. Act. Bug each. Bug each. No. <laughs> You're so She's close to the Christine. She Christine. No, you Christine. Christine. Also, I don't like the dog. That's it. I don't know what I am. You're the secretary. I'm the secretary. I'm the secretary. Today we're experiencing rapid societal changes. There's always something new or updated, always a new version of something. And unfortunately, middle school, high school, and college students are feeling pressure to keep up with every single change. It's not enough that they're battling mental health issues and family dysfunction, anxiety, and toxic relationships, but now throw in social media pressure, um, for future workforce pressure, and unwanted pressure from peers and parents to portray an image that isn't truly who they are. Your passion is connected to that value that adversity brings. The reason why I'm speaking in front of you guys is because my adversities with my dad is connected to my passion to speak and to teach and to motivate and to inspire. And so I advise practically every single person to do what I'm getting ready to give you. There's three words that I want you to think about, three circles that I want you to think about. Our goal as a company is to attack those internal and external battles or adversities they're facing with the realization of individual passion. For my wife and I, we love providing millennials and Gen Z with educational and practical tools and resources. And we love the feedback and the results after our principles on passion are applied. I need you guys. I don't, my wife and I don't have kids, but my kids are gonna need you guys. Everyone has the passion, but not everyone finds it and feeds it. I'm looking at a room full of teachers I'm looking at a, a room full of doctors and lawyers. I'm looking at a room full of engineers. I'm looking at a room full of physicians that are valuable. And what I don't want you guys to think is that because my situation is so bad and it's so tough that I, can just, I should just give up. Because I promise you, not only do you have value right now, but when you push through that tough class, when you push through that family dysfunction at home, when you push through the tough things that may be in your communities, I guarantee you it will develop a confidence muscle, a creative muscle that will, uh, that will allow you to be lit like baby Jack-Jack and solve problems with the value that's on this side.